All right, so uh, the Senate is coming back from Thanksgiving break, and they are going to be discussing the Build Back Better Act. Uh, that is the act, as far as we are concerned. There's a lot. There's a lot in it with the environment and um, a, as well as uh, environmental issues. There's issues regarding um, you know childcare, mm -hmm. uh, pre-K, free pre-K for for all children. Uh, but as far as immigration is concerned, we've talked about it. It is the parole in place. It has passed the House of Representatives. They expect it to help at least six and a half million people, probably more, maybe six and a half million people on the Northeast. Mm. Uh, anybody who was here prior to January 1st, 2011 would be included in this program. It would be a parole for five years. Parole makes you legal. And then you could renew it for another five years. For a total of 10 years, you would get a work permit. You get travel permission. The idea is that they can't, under this budget reconciliation, change the law forever because that's changing laws. That's not doing a budget. So what the idea is, Jonathan, mm -hmm. is that they're going to do something that's a 10-year program to raise money. Hopefully, it will pass the parliamentarian in the Senate. If it does, it would give work permission travel permission, which is basically what you get as a lawful as a, right, resident right. for 10 years. And then the idea being in 10 years, once all these benefits are given to tens and tens of millions of people, it's going to be a lot more than six and a half million people. What history has always, always repeated itself for 250 years in the United States of America is once Congress gives a benefit to anybody, whether immigrant, U.S. citizen or whoever, once Congress gives a benefit, it's almost impossible to take it away. Yeah. Um, okay. You know, even think about Obamacare. Yeah. How the Republic, the Republicans, the Republicans for ten years tried to undo <laughs> yes, it, yes. and they couldn't do undo it. Okay. So history is a guide that if this parole passes for ten years, at a bare minimum, it'll be there forever. Yeah. If not, they'll probably perhaps change a law in the future to give people on parole green cards. Okay. Now. That doesn't mean that people who get parole, who were here prior to January 1st, 2011, meaning that you were physically in the United States from January 1st, 2011, all the way to the present time when Joe Biden potentially may sign this into law, um, that doesn't mean that you can't get a green card. It actually makes it easier for you to get a green card because now people who are out of status are in status. People who did not make a legal entry would presumably have made this legal entry now by being granted the parole or perhaps get the advanced parole travel document, travel out and return, mm -hmm. making a legal entry, which would allow for adjustment of status. So it would potentially give people who are otherwise not eligible for a green card, you know, who are married to U.S. citizens but came without inspection, for example, that would be the biggest group of people to ultimately adjust their status. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's the parliamentarian, yo-yo. It's that damn that, parliamentarian. Like, and that's what that's the only thing that really scares me. It's like, you this know, you woman. Keep on, yeah, this woman. Because yeah. it's like we, we keep on coming with different I'm, plans. I'm tired of looking like, at her smiling face. I, and that picture, it's I'm literally that I, picture. I'm tired, I'm tired of looking at her smiling There's face. There's nothing to smile There's nothing about. to smile about until you say Plan C yeah. works. All right. And it's like you're not changing the law, so it's like, and we're bringing parole, in money. So. Parole, parole status is a law already. There is a law for parole. It doesn't like it doesn't exist. And we're bringing in it money. It exists, like and, you said, bring, like, and they're bringing in money by doing it. Um, what's, what's the issue? Now she has rejected Plan A and Plan B, and Senator Manchin from West Virginia, he is like Republican Democrat. Okay, mm -hmm. he is in the Democratic Party, but might as well be in the Republican Party yeah. because he has such conservative views. Right. Um, he has said he will vote for the Build Back a Better plan for the immigration portion of it, as long as the parliamentarian says it's kosher. Mm. I don't think he used the word kosher. Right. I don't think he even knows what the word kosher means. <laughs> but uh, I know what it means. You know what it means. I know what it means. Okay, so... Uh, if, if the parliamentarian says it's okay, he'll vote for it. If the parliamentarian says no, he won't. Which is really bizarre yeah, that... to me that this unelected woman 
has so much power. Yeah. I find that disturbing. I find it extraordinarily disturbing. We will know by Christmas. Okay. That's what S Senator Schumer says. Keep your fingers <clears throat> crossed, everyone. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.